Hey y'all, it's Pippi. I wanted to do a little short uh, tutorial type video, well, not a full tutorial, but an explanation type video of how you can do um, an indoor grow light system with your plants. You can start them indoors or even like treat, you know, for plants that you might have as house plants that need some sunlight. Um, I've been using these particular lead, five, around a 5,000 range lumen, um, shop lights. So that the 5,000 around that range, <clears throat> excuse me, is enough that I found for, um, you know, it serves its purpose for these plants. So, um, I had some onions, you know, I bet, let's see, when did I start this? I think it was maybe Christmas or first week of January. I have to look back at my videos and see, but, um, I started some onions and, um, some lettuce and some, uh, art uh, yeah, artichokes, and uh, I had them outside in the sunroom, but we're expecting to get um, temperatures around zero degrees, so at, at the highest. Um, so I'm afraid to leave them out in that unheated sunroom. They're not really doing that well out there with it being that cold right now. Uh, it might get down to, you know, in the 20s in the sunroom when it does that outside. Um, so I've, I've decided to go ahead and bring them in and make a cheap little station um, to hang my grow lights and to make it work and try to make these plants a little bit happier again. And I wanted to share with you guys how you can make this um, for pretty cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money whenever uh, you see grow lights in stores that's called grow lights. They might run, you know, $100 and up. Uh, I spent, I think this was about 20 bucks and I saw some on Walmart. Uh, it's called the 5,500 5, lead shop light. Uh, it's 5,500 lumen lead shop light that you can get on walmart.com and it was like 18 bucks. So I'm gonna, I might end up ordering a couple more of those and I'll tell you why here in a second. Um, but I did want to show how you can make this little station really cheap. I had this wood, uh, in my garage and I just whenever I do projects I always store scrap wood just in case I might need it for something like this um, and if I if I don't use it you know what it's bonfire wood so um, I had this in the garage and I thought this would be a perfect thing to use I didn't have to pay for it it was just in my garage but if you get this you can get the cheap uh, you can go in the lo to Lowe's like in the cheap back part of our Lowe's um, where I live uh, the cheap wood that's not got the special treatments and stuff like these little furring strips right here um you can use that you know just use whatever you got so the trick to making this and i'm going to show you this way that i used just hanging one lot and how you can also make this to hang multiple lights and make your space even wider now i would do that if i had a space where i could set this on a floor and not worry that my dogs would get into the plants and chew them up um, because I do have house dogs. If it wasn't for that, I probably would do that. Or if you had a grow table, um, a folding table that you can set up somewhere in a room and, and, and you know, spread them out, you could do more lights than this one. And I'll show you how. Okay, here here is the uh, logistics of how to do this. I literally cut these little furring strips you know, this wide. You can make it however wide you want it. I did it like this, you know, to give it some stability because if you just do it with just this piece of wood and you don't have stability down here, this can tip over if something bumps up against it or, you know, whatever. You don't want that. Get yourself a little piece of wood to make a foot on both sides. Screwed it from the bottom, two screws going up. And at the top, I got two screws holding this long strip um, over here and I've got another foot pedal it's dusty in here excuse the dust but another foot right down here and that's how I done that I did have these little hooks right here um, in a storage that I keep extra screw nuts bolts and screws things like that so um, I hooked those there to hang these grow lights on and I can only find one chain I've had these grow lights for probably I don't know four or five years and they're still you know going strong and I lost the, the string to this one so I just uh, or the chain so I just used a string you know I use whatever I had these lead lights do not get hot 
it, you can feel a little bit of warmth coming from them, but I could sit here and hold my hand to it. There's no heat. I, I do not feel any burning sensation. Um, it just feels slightly warm, kind of like a, a, a heat mat warm, if that. Um, so you can do that. You can even, if you didn't have hooks, you could take, you know, hook it around the top here um, and hang down. So that's another option if you didn't have that. I mean, hooks are cheap, but if you wanted to make this even wider, there's a simple trick. And before I move on though, don't get these type of grow lights. These are shop lights too. I couldn't tell you how many times my kids have been playing and they'll throw something and it hits the light and this come, pops out and it shatters glass all over the floor. I do not like these. I love how these right here are flat. It's made within um, the, the light, so there's no pieces that come in and out. It's just flat LED lights made within that. And the ones at Walmart, I'll post a link. Here's a better picture. It's just made right into it. Um, I'll post a link of the ones I saw at Walmart that's flat with, with this. Um, so it, it's not this screw-in kind of light. You don't want that. But um, having said that, if you want to make this wider and grow more plants, take you a big furring strip or a piece of wood, like I said, whatever you've got in your house, and I can cut this in half, or, whoops, or leave it the length. Look at this, y'all. I could screw this like that on the top, okay? See that? And you could even make your foot pedals here longer too to kind of balance that out. But you see that? You can screw that on the top and put multiple hooks along this. If say I wanted to put three grow lights on this side, one in the middle, three go grow lights on this side, then you can put that many hooks on there, have it screwed down, and guess what? You've got an even wider space to um, grow plants or little seedlings. So that's a tip if you wanna make that wider. And actually, um, if I do, I'm thinking about clearing up some space in the back room, and I might end up doing that and setting this out on the table and um, just making this wider. I can literally get, you know, I can triple the width of this for a bunch of seedlings. But um, the total cost to me for this, I didn't have to buy the wood. I already had it in the garage. I didn't have to buy the hooks. Um, I didn't, because I already had them. And I already had this light. If I didn't, the lights are, you know, 20 bucks at walmart.com, 55,000 5, lumen, 5,500 lumen LED lights with the flat lights built in. Um, you can get them cheap. You don't have to go all out. And the plants grow. So this is what she looks like. So there you go. Um, I think if, if you had to buy it, you can get these furring strips real cheap at Lowe's. You know, you could build this, the, a single light one, if you had to buy maybe some furring strips, you know, under 50 bucks. But if you wanted to add, you know, multiple lights, each, each additional lot that you want to add for width is going to be like another, you know, 20 bucks, $18 plus tax right now. So um, it's really not too bad. You can have a wide growing station. Uh, for way cheaper than the grow lights that stores offer. Um, but there you go. That is how you make a simple, cheap grow light station for your little seedlings. Thanks for watching. And one thing I did want to add too is I, I, I can't really give an exact measure, measurement to you of what size wood to get because each person's going to be different of, you know, how tall you want this to be, you know, whether how, how tall are your plants. Um, you know, I'm going to keep these in here for a couple of months and they're probably going to get up to here and I can keep raising this slot up with the chains. Um, or if you had taller plants, you could get taller wood on the side. Um, so that would vary, but I will share a screenshot, you know, even if not furring strips, you can get the cheap untreated, um, wood from Lowe's and I'll share a screenshot of that. It's really not that high. Um, you could do this very cheap, but, uh, that's a kind of a, a statement on there and I'll show, uh, some screenshots of prices on those things right now. So if you didn't have any spare wood at home, here's a couple of examples of some eight foot long pieces of wood that you can get at Lowe's.
that would do just fine. Just make sure that top bar that I had my lights hanging off of um, is at least five to five and a half feet long because those lead shop lights are four feet long and you want that top one to be long enough to hang those lead lights off of. Uh, so that's a pointer and um, you know it, it varies how many strips that you're going to need uh, to if you do like a multiple light hanging you know you're going to have to take into account how many more pieces of wood or how much more wood you're going to need if you make it like you know several um, lights hanging across the top like I had showed or demonstrated that you could do so that is a pointer but yes you can see the wood here is really cheap So looking back at my measurements for this particular grow station, the top piece of wood that I had the light hanging from is five feet long. The two uh, bars that's holding that up, I made those two feet tall, so I need two of those, and I made my foot pedals one foot long each. So technically, two pieces of wood that are eight feet long from Lowe's that I showed in the screenshot before this uh, would have cost me about eight dollars and twenty cents and a box of screw hooks there's 40 in a box at Walmart where I live and that's five dollars a box and the grow lights are roughly you know with tax and all probably about 20 bucks each so if I would have had to buy, buy every single bit of this for this particular station brand new I would have spent around 33 dollars 34 dollars at, at most to make this particular um, grow station if you want to make it taller or make the foot pedals wider um, add the two crisscross beams along the top that I showed you that you can hang the grow lights from to make it a wider grow station you know you'd have to take into account more wood however you know tall or wide that you would want to make it but the basic one here that it, if I would have bought new you know 33 34 dollars I did want to show real quick before I go um, how well these lights work I have had these particular tropical top plants I have some dragon fruit banana trees uh, I've got an olive tree back in there and a few orange top trees and they I have used these particular lead grow lights <clears throat> for several years. I used to have flowering trees in the past that um, would bloom under these lights so I've not really had any um, issues with their performance in terms of mimicking like if they were out in the sun it keeps them alive and happy over the winter months and I mean you can see they do work. There's blooming from this orange tree. Here's some that I hand pollinated. That's a bunch of little oranges. You can see right there and there. And these have bloomed out. There was no blooms on this when I brought them in. They bloomed out under these lights. But I did want to show that real quick before I go. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, put them in the comments be down below and I will reply back as quickly as possible. But thank you for watching and have a nice day.